guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be tier ranking all of my five star reads that I have given since like when I first got back into reading so it's been a couple of years now so there are some random choices in there for books that I gave five stars so I thought it'd be quite fun to reflect on that and see whether they're still five stars or whether it was just an in the moment sort of thing of the time type book just dive straight in I hope you enjoy let me know whether you gave any of these books five stars comment down below and tell me whether they're still five stars for you or again whether it was of the moment thing but those are actually all of my five star reads so let me know whether any of these are your five star read list too or again if maybe you've changed your mind on them and they're probably not five stars anymore thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed and let me know if there's any more like tier ranking videos you want me to do if you have any ideas comment them down below and i'll see you in another video super super soon bye so we have our tier ranker here on the tim ranker maker website i'll link it down below in case you guys want to have a go but basically i have just used another template that someone else made and added in my five star reads however i can't delete i've messed it up i can't delete theirs out of there for some reason so up until love redesigned is mine and then other than that that's theirs so yeah i literally don't know how to delete theirs out of there but anyway it doesn't matter so we're starting off strong with beach read which is actually one of my favorite ever reads so i'm going to put that in infinite stars actually that would have helped if i'd have talked through the tiers so we have infinite stars which is obviously like amazing no no comments definite five stars then we've got comfort books which is like it is a five star but it's more of like a comfort read and that's why i've gave it a five star then we have valid five star which is just like yeah it's good nothing more needs to be said um not five stars anymore so that's probably more like it was an of the moment thing of the time and then questionable choices which is like why did i give this book five stars which i don't think i have many of to be honest i think most of them were more of the time type five stars so beach read goes into infinite stars because i love that book with my whole heart i really want to do a reread of it absolutely adored it and have no complaints on it then we have looking for alaska which again i feel like it was an of the time type five star but i still think i would enjoy it if i read it again so i'm actually just going to put it in more of like a comfort read which is wild considering the themes in look for alaska like i wouldn't say that's necessarily a comfort read but i am still going to put it in that category because i feel like that's more where it sits in terms of the five stars rather than it being like a valid five star i feel like it's more of a comfort read and the nostalgia of it would i think make me give it five stars then we have the deal by l kennedy i think i'm going to go comfort book because again like the nostalgia this was like one of my first books that i read when i got into reading i think if i read it now i'd still give it a five star so yeah that's going to go into comfort books i love a hockey romance but the deal has a special place in my heart especially with gary graham i love him ugly love i feel like this is probably not five stars anymore now i did actually really enjoy this book when i read it um but i feel like again it was probably more of the time and compared to like the books i've read since then because this was like a five star very early on in my reading journey so i do feel like compared to the other books that i've read this is probably not a five star anymore um so but it is probably still like a, a three four so yeah then we have let it snow by john green and maureen johnson and lauren miracle i think that says um and this is gonna go my comfort reads because i do actually really really love this book it's actually three stories that are intertwined and it's a christmasy book um but it is such a comfort read i do a reread of it every single year and i just love it every single year so i never get bored of it so it's gonna go into my comfort reads and yeah i just adore it so much then we have the score by l kennedy which i think is dean's story from what i can remember um, I feel like I'm probably just going to put this in like valid five stars because I actually did really enjoy it. I did enjoy some of the books more than others in that series and I think this was one of them if I'm thinking of the right one. I think it is Dean's story. And then we have A Court of Miss and Fury which is going straight into the infinite stars category because I love this book with my whole heart. It was such a good read. The plot twists that were happening, Reese and Feyre, it just everything was given five star energy so yeah i definitely definitely enjoyed that one then we have the hating game which i think i'm just gonna put in valid five stars because again this is more of like one that was at the start of my reading journey but i really enjoy an enemies to lovers and a workplace romance book um so i feel like i'd probably still give it a very very high rating so i'm just gonna give it a valid five stars for this 
then we have one of us is next which i don't think is probably going to be a five star anymore so i think yeah not five stars anymore um to be honest thinking back on it like i did enjoy the story but i've liked other thrillers much much more than that one since then so yeah i think maybe not five stars anymore let me have turtles all the way down by john green which i think i have read it twice and i have enjoyed it both times i i want to put it in comfort books but then i also maybe don't think it's a five star anymore i think it's maybe like a 4.5 so i'm gonna put it in not five stars anymore but it's not the same reasoning for the other two i just feel like it's probably not five stars compared to some other books but still much a comfort read because i just enjoy john green's writing in general i've literally read like every book of his then we have the invisible life of Addie larue which is going again straight into infinite stars because i absolutely adore that book so so much i read it again very early on in my reading journey and just adored it so much straight away um i feel like with this book you either really like it or you just don't like it at all i think obviously it's quite slow um due to the world building but i feel like it's the story is really hard to grasp unless they wrote it that way so yeah it's definitely going into infinite stars i just adored it so so much and i really really want to do a reread and like highlight and tab and stuff in there then we have two can keep a secret um so i'm actually gonna put that in like valid five stars because i actually really did enjoy that story um especially more compared to one of us is next so i enjoyed this like standalone one um so i'm gonna put that in valid five stars because the ending actually gave me like chills like the one sentence that's at the end actually gave me like goosebumps um so yeah i'm gonna put that in valid five stars then we have the riffs by l kennedy which is in her off campus no bro you series um I don't feel it's five stars anymore it's probably again probably like a four 3.75 this one now like now that I've read more sports romances and other romances in general again I read this very early on in my reading journey so I do feel like compared to other books it's not five stars anymore but I still really enjoyed it then we have everything I know about love which is actually going to be in my comfort reads just the thought of it just warms my heart I really really enjoyed reading that book and I took my time with it I didn't want to read it too fast um and yeah i absolutely adored it and i just loved dolly alderson's writing and how it was a non-fiction but it felt like a fiction i have the chase by l kennedy which is another one in the borrow you series again i don't really remember this one so i'm gonna just put it in not five stars anymore to be honest because i don't really remember it and therefore i feel like it wouldn't be a five star if i don't if i don't remember it I have the spanish love deception again this is not five stars anymore like compared to other books that i've read since then it's just not a five star for me i feel like i've read better romances since then but i still did enjoy the book which is not five stars anymore then we have enemies with benefits which i am actually going to put in valid five stars because i really enjoyed this book when i read it and i do feel like i don't know if it would necessarily be five stars but it's very close like maybe like a 4.75 but i don't feel like it falls into the category of not five stars anymore compared to the other books that are in there so i'm just going to put valid five stars because it's an underrated book and i just come across it one day and i just really liked it so it's going in that category then we have the midnight library which i think is not five stars anymore compared to i haven't really read any literary fiction so compared to other literary fiction that i've read now it's not a five stars anymore but it's still very enjoyable so yeah powerless by lauren roberts is going straight into infinite stars i read that this year and i haven't stopped thinking about these things like kai and payden i love you guys you are my power couple yeah obsessed then we have verity by colleen hoover I did really enjoy it but again i've read like other thrillers that i've enjoyed more i think i might actually just put it into valid five stars you know because there was some plot twists that really really got me and some of it like gave me the creeps so i did actually really enjoy it um so yeah i'm just gonna put it valid five stars it's not like phenomenal but i did enjoy it then we have love on the brain which is not five stars anymore compared to other ali hazelwood books that i've read since then I did like it but again compared to other romances and stuff just not five stars anymore then we have book lovers by emily henry which i'm just going to stick in valid five stars compared to other emily henry books it's not my favorite um 
like a happy place when I read it. I don't know why. But I think I must have been in a slump, but I didn't give it five stars. But that has definitely been bumped up to five stars because I think about that one more than I think about Book Lovers, which I did give five stars at the time. So I feel like it just depends what mood I'm in for reading. But yeah, uh, that's going to be just valid five stars for me. Then we have The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood, which again, I don't think is five stars, but I think it's very close. So I'm just going to put that into not five stars anymore. Um, because there is an Ali Hazelwood book coming up that I could give so many stars. So we'll go off that. Then we have It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, which I don't think is five stars anymore. I think it's probably like, again, a 4.5 um, compared to like other romance books that I've read. But yeah, I'm just going to stick it in not five stars anymore. Then we have Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home, which is going straight into infinite stars because I love that book. It ripped my heart out literally ripped my heart out but I still love her I still love Magnolia I still love Jessa and I love this series so much five honestly thousands of stars I just love it so so much then we have Every Summer After which I'm actually going to put as a comfort book because I think about this book so so often and I know this is a bit of a controversial opinion because some people really don't like it but I really enjoyed the book and yeah it's definitely a comfort book of mine I really want to reread it but I just haven't got around to doing that yet. I read it a couple of years ago and I read it literally in one day. So then we have Heartless by Elsie Silver, which again is not a five stars compared to other Elsie Silver books that I've read. So it's going into not five stars anymore. Um, I did enjoy the story, but just thinking back on it, just not as much as the other ones. Then we have Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood, which is the one that I was on about. I love this book so, so much. And I think it is one of my, I think it is my favourite Ali Hazelwood book. And I think it's going to be in the Comfort Reads category. Because just thinking about Elsie and Jack just warms my heart and I just love them so much. Then we have Things We Never Got Over and I don't think that's a five star anymore for me. I do think that's probably in like the, again, four star category. But I still really enjoyed it at the time. Then we have Meet Me at the Wedding by Georgia Toffolo, which actually I really, really enjoyed. So I'm just going to stick this in valid five stars. If you haven't read this or the series in general, then I definitely recommend it because it's definitely underrated. And yeah, I don't really hear that many people talking about it, but I really enjoyed the series or the ones I've read of it so far. Um, then we have The Seven Year Slip, which again is immediately going into infinite stars because I loved that book so much. And again, I think about it on a daily basis and that's not even exaggerating. I kindly got it sent to me when it was releasing. I got a proof copy of it from Mills and Boone and ever since then I've been obsessed. I read it on my holiday and yeah, obsessed. I love them so much. Then we have Vacation Wars, which I'm just gonna put in valid five stars because if you haven't read this book, you should read it. I actually really, really enjoyed this one as well. And again, this one's underrated. I don't really see that many people talking about it, um, but it was one of my favorite reads from last year. So going in valid five stars. Then we have Charlie Love and Clichés, which I don't think is a five star anymore. I think it's, again, probably like a 4.75, just again, compared to romances that I've read this year or other romances that I've read. I feel like it doesn't come into the five star category anymore. Then we have Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune, which again, I don't think is a five star for me anymore. I think, again, it's probably like a four star. Um, So that's going to go into not five stars anymore category. And just compared to every summer after, I just haven't liked it as much then we have reckless by Elsie silver which is going into infinite stars because i loved that book i ate it up and i love theo silver so infinite stars that is honestly one of my top tier books and we have yours truly by abby jimenez which is going to be a comfort read for me i've recently read this and jacob is such a cutie he just needs to be protected at all costs and i relate to him on a deep deep level because i've been an anxiety girly so yeah, I love him. He is adorable. Then we have Icebreaker, which again, I don't think is a five star anymore. Probably like a 3.75, four star. I do really like Hannah Grace's writing. I really like the series, but I just don't think it's five star anymore compared to other books. Then we have Things We Left Behind, which again, I don't feel is a five star anymore compared to other books. Again, I just feel like my taste has changed since reading these books. Then we have Funny Story by Emily Henry, which I'm actually going to put as... A valid five star because I did really enjoy it at the time but I haven't thought back to it as much as other Emily Henry books so I think that's just going to go in valid five stars. Then we have Love Redesigned which I don't think is a five star anymore compared to other books that I've read again it's just not I don't think about it that much. I know I said the other ones are 
the other person's five stars but i am actually going to do emily henry's happy place because i do feel now it's a five star for me and i'm going to put that in comfort books because i really relate to some of the themes in the book so i'm going to include that one in there but those are actually all of my five star reads so let me know whether any of these are on your five star read list too or again if maybe you've changed your mind on them and they're probably not five stars anymore thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed and let me know if there's any more like tier ranking videos you want me to do if you have any ideas comment them down below and i'll see you in another video super super soon bye